Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the cup card over here and this is about getting together with friends. It's like the three of cups. You can see three cups there. So uh, getting together with people uh, that are being, you know, very friendly, maybe socializing quite a bit. And that's very, very important for you. So that's coming in. Now you may have been dealing with somebody who is a trickster. As you can see, someone who's very, very deceptive, uh, lying. Uh, so don't trust everybody around you. There might be somebody in your midst or somebody that you think is on your side but really isn't. Uh, you know, they might be doing things behind your back that you're not really aware of. You've got uh, the shadow card over here. So whatever this person is doing is not very, very nice. So just be careful of this person. So watch out uh, whom you trust. Even if you're making new friends, just be very, very discerning about whom you trust. So things going on behind your back, you've got a little devil going on over there. So just be aware that some deception is going on over there. And this person can cause a lot of problems with that shadow card. Now in the past, you've got the horse over here. So you have been making inroads to move forward. Uh, and things have been moving pretty quickly for you. You've got this horse with a rainbow tail over there. Uh, so, you know, overcoming a lot of obstacles and difficulties and having, you know, getting your freedom and moving forward. You may have been dealing with affairs of the heart there, so maybe you have moved away from a relationship that wasn't working out for you. On the other hand, it could be a relationship that has come in for you, and uh, you know you have a little more freedom, there's a lot more love going on over there. Maybe it's a new relationship that came in there for you there with the heart card. Now going into the future, um, you know, since these two, before I do that, uh, since the heart card and the trickster card are almost near, you know, next to each other there, you know, just watch out for uh, if there, there might be some deception going on within that relationship that you are in. Uh, so just be aware that could be the case as well. Now, uh, going to the future, you've got the wise old man over here and the jewel card. So the wise uh, old man is about needing to go and get some advice from somebody older than you. Uh, you know, you need that wisdom. You also may need to take some time out, meditate, uh, you know, look to yourself also for answers because you have a lot of experience as well. So uh, there's some kind of information that you need and you need to look at things in a very different way. Uh, from a different point of view, uh, but needing to get some support from somebody around you. This person will give you some advice that you do need to listen to. You've got the jewel card over here, and this is about focusing about on what is important to you. So you will need to do that. Uh, find your worth, I always say with this particular card, and uh, you know, make plans, uh, decide what is important, prioritize, and then focus on this. Uh, so this is about abundance coming in for you, uh, but you need to also make sure that you understand your true worth and understand what is valuable to you as well with the jewel card. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to just use the um, whimsical tarot for the main read. And this deck deals a lot with uh, nursery rhymes. So let's see what's going on. Bottom of the deck, you've got the two of rods. So this is about getting help, uh, unexpected help coming in. You can see this little mouse is uh, nibbling away at that uh, net that is keeping that lion uh, trapped. So this is some, somebody that you didn't expect to be able to help you uh, coming along to give you that aid and that assistance that you need. So don't underestimate uh, friendships or offers that come in. Uh, you know, even something, a small gesture might make a big difference in your life. But it's something that allows you to get your freedom back again uh, and get your power back again. So whatever offer comes, as small as it is, it comes your way, it's very important to consider it and accept it. You've got that king of swords. There might be some kind of legal issue that you are dealing with, but there might be somebody, maybe an air sign person, coming in to give you that a hand. So this could be uh, Leo, um, Aquarius, or uh, Gemini energy coming in over there. But there might be a resolution to a legal situation as well. Whatever the decision is, maybe this is the thing that allows you to get yourself free from this particular 
the situation. So if there's any kind of help that is being offered to you, make sure you accept it as small as it is. And that is how you're going to be able to free yourself from that situation of that two of rods, but also it's going to be able to make you uh, make a break uh, make a new start for you so this is coming through a lot of drama you can see there's a lot of flames over here uh, you know realign yourself with your your true um, um, path in life uh, your road is open there is somebody there to give you a help there has been a lot of transformation there's a butterfly there but uh, this is about taking that chance and going for it and making a fresh start you've got the eight of swords over here so you're pretty tired uh, you know you've been feeling very chained up in this particular situation. Something is coming to help you break free from it. But this is also a need for you to take some rest from all the, the anxiety and stress that you have been undergoing. Now in the past you've got the Six of Cups. It looks like, uh, you know, you may have been, uh, uh, you may have received an offer from somebody in the past. Uh, but this may also be that you've been, uh, you know, looking at the past a lot, uh, you know, reviewing the past a lot, maybe being stuck a little bit in the past, remembering how it used to be. Now, this looks like an offer in this particular deck, so maybe somebody has made some kind of offer, or maybe you've uh, run into somebody from your past, uh, and maybe they've offered you some help, or some assistance. So, um, You've got the Ace of Rods over here. So in the past few months, there, it looks like there's been a brand new beginning. So maybe the Six of Cups is a, a new relationship on offer there. And the Ace of Rods might be that relationship uh, becoming a very sexual relationship as well. Ace of Rods is usually about the beginning of a very passionate relationship. On the other hand, you could have started a new project over there. And that's where you're focusing all your attention on. And this is the thing that is transforming you. This might be a relationship because there are two butterflies over there. Well, there's the third one there. So, you know, whatever's going on over here is causing a lot of change in your life. And there might be even some travel that you're undertaking at this particular moment. So, some kind of offer has come in, a very lovely offer, uh, quite a nice thing, maybe meeting somebody from the past, maybe even an apology has come in from somebody from the past. But definitely, uh, you have started some new kind of project. Uh, you've got a new lease on life, a new energy coming in there for you. Now, what's in your mind? You've got the Two of Cups. So, you do want a relationship. Uh, you know, you want to get away from all that drama that you've been going through with all these waves here. And, uh, you know, you are turning to somebody for some advice. So there is somebody that is giving you some really good sound advice that you're turning to and asking them to help you out in this particular situation. Now, going into the future, you've got the Hierophant, and this is your card. So enlightenment and clarity coming in there. You can see those rays coming in. So this is almost like it's divinely guided. Uh, you might be spending a lot of time by yourself and reviewing all your spiritual practices as well. So you're doing some very, very deep thinking and some very, very deep transformation over there with that Hierophant. And you're getting to a point where you're becoming almost like um, a mentor. This is a monk here. So you are somebody that's becoming very spiritually aware and you're being able to give advice as well. Uh, and this is something that's giving you a great satisfaction. You can see he's raising his cup over there so whatever you're learning whatever new thing a new transformation you're undergoing is giving you a lot of spiritual satisfaction you've got the eight of cups so you're letting go of whatever it was in the past that happened to you so you've got miss muffet, uh, miss muffet uh, abandoning her curds there and because the spider came there and frightened her out so somebody had uh, you know um, had a, a web of uh, you know deceit going on around you, whatever they did shocked you, and you've l you had to leave in pretty much a hurry from that situation, uh, and you know you had to leave it behind and move on. It was quite a dramatic uh, change that came in. You had to leave things rather suddenly. Uh, you've got the tower over here, so things are changing. Whatever this uh, energy is, you're still feeling it. There seems to have been some kind of tower moment that's been going on around you. This is not necessarily your tower. Uh, but there's been some kind of shocking news or event that has happened around you that has caused uh, maybe a lot of disruption and a lot of chaos. Uh, you know, something has been lost uh, with this tower card. So there's been big changes that have come in uh, with this tower card. Uh, this energy coming in or it's around you at this particular moment causing a lot of drama right now. Now you've got the moon card. You're still going through a period of uh, depression there, uh, maybe feeling confused, uh, maybe feeling afraid. Especially since this Eight of Cups event has happened with the spider coming in, shocking uh, her, 
uh, it looks like whatever event has happened has had its repercussions. This might have been that tower moment that came in that caused a lot of drama for you, um, caused a lot of stress, uh, but it's caused also a lot of um, fear and a lot of depression. You're afraid to act. Now going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the Five of Frogs, the Five of Swords, and the Hermit. So two very, uh, two cards with a lot of conflict. Uh, so facing a lot of competition, but a lot of petty arguments going on over here. There might be some legal issues that you're dealing with, but this is also a card of conflict and uh, deception going on over here. So not very nice to get two fives there. Uh, and then this is the thing that's going to uh, cause you to withdraw, go deep within yourself, maybe do further study, uh, spend a lot more time with yourself. So maybe all these people around you are giving you too much of grief and it looks like you're going to be taking a step out of, taking some time out to yourself. Um, it looks like that tower moment is going to bring in some kind of conflict. So just be aware that, you know, these energies are still a bit disruptive around you and there's going to be some conflict or some kind of issue going on. Uh, and you might need to just withdraw from that situation uh, in order to cope with it. Also, get yourself some rest. Um, it looks like you haven't been sleeping well either. Uh, so you need to actually withdraw from all the drama. Pick your fights. Uh, you know, think about things before you rush into situations. Uh, and just let it, maybe it's best to just leave it alone, um, ignore it, and, uh, you know, keep to yourself uh, and let it blow over um, rather than getting engaged and getting upset by whatever is going on. So it looks like you are moving away, but there's still some issues coming in for you, uh, some tower moments coming in. This changes the energy, so maybe things have gotten a little stagnant for you, uh, but you might need to go back and, uh, you know, uh, look into your own value system again and find that strength within yourself uh, in order for you to get over whatever problems there are. And like I said, if there's any kind of help that is being offered to you, no matter how small it is, uh, accept it, because it looks like it, it's going to be uh, something that frees you from the circumstance. Now, you've got the Ten of Water, so this is about the endings of difficult emotional situations, and uh, it says, uh, emotional and rewarding family life, your emotional and material needs are met. So you are coming out of this particular cycle, and uh, you know you will start something brand new pretty soon. This might be just the last bits of that emotional situation that you're dealing with. You've got the Tower card appearing again over here. This is the Life Experience card. So this is a significant life event over here, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. So some kind of big event coming in over here, a big shift in energy. The Tower card appears twice. It looks like something really big is about to happen. So just prepare yourself for that. And you've got to focus on work over there to get yourself, uh, you know, um, take your focus off whatever this tower moment is. So the power of creativity, recognition for high quality work, uh, and uh, being a team player. So you might be working with a group of people. It looks like this tower moment is going to bring in a big transformation. And this might be a tower moment that's happening within the work situation rather than in a personal situation. Maybe things are going to change dramatically uh, and it's going to allow you to now focus more on your work and allow more people to recognize uh, you know how creative and how talented you are uh, and it's going to bring in a big transformation because you've got the butterfly on this three of earth card over here so some kind of big transformation coming uh, something you're not going to expect uh, coming in over here but it ends the cycles of all that difficulty that you've been going through so this tower needs to come in to shift a lot of things uh, to move stagnant energy out. So don't be afraid of it, embrace it. Because once you resist this change that comes in, it makes it more difficult. But if you accept it, you know, maybe things will m you go more smoothly and you'll be able to overcome whatever, um, you know, is going on. So um, all the best for that. Um, and um, uh, try and focus on your work. Uh, and, you know, get your mind, um, you know, don't get uh, bogged down by all uh, the drama that goes on around you because you don't want to get stuck in that cycle of being afraid to act. So I hope this reading has resonated with you uh, and um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.